Hey guys, so in this video I just want to quickly show you now when we have rooted our device we have installed clock mode recovery um, so I'm basically just going to show you here pretty quick on how you basically install a new firmware and I'm going to go ahead and try out the new firmware right now and hopefully everything will work awesome so first of all you need to get the firmware on your you know, device obviously so you know just connect it using USB to your computer uh, okay that's awesome. So, uh, I guess I should just turn off USB debugging as well. Uh, or else you won't like be able to find it. Um, development, USB debugging. Okay. Plug it in. And uh, should pop up. There we go. So we have my phone here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my desktop. I have a firmware here uh, that I'm going to go ahead and try out as I said. Hopefully everything will work awesome. And I'm um, you know, just going to go ahead and move that over. Uh, oh yes. Then I'm basically just gonna go ahead. Okay, so it's it's finished. Um, it's gonna be okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna follow these simple, simple, simple instructions, uh, and that is basically we're just gonna boot into recovery mode, go to mount the storage, wipe system, wipe data, wipe cache, go back, flash the alpha. And then we're going to flash the alpha again because it seems like it could be a little buggy sometimes and then you have to do it to multiple times. Hopefully it will work and I won't get an error message. Um, and this is important why you have to install you know, the clockwork mod. Uh, basically made a video on YouTube, uh, upload that on how you can go ahead and install clockwork mod. Um, so that's awesome and I also made videos on, on how to root your device. Um, so, let's go. Let's, let's turn it off. And obviously we could go ahead and disconnect this right now. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. Power off. Your phone will shut down. Okay, so now it's turned off. Let's go into recovery mode with clockwork mod for open to open the window. Okay, there we go. So now we're just going to follow the rules, that is first, go to mount and storage. Go to mount and storage. Tap on that one, and let's go ahead and wipe system, wipe data, and wipe cache. So, we're going to start off with the cache, no, we can start off with system. Easy as that. And you get all of these no's, just because you shouldn't do it by accident. Um, wipe, system. I know this could be kind of scary. And then also... Wait a sec. Wait a, wait a, wait a sec. Wipe. When there is it saying wipe... It is saying format. Wait a sec. We are on mounts and storage. Yes, we are on mounts and storage, and we should go ahead and hit format on all of them, but they're saying wipe. Okay, that, that's confusing. Um, okay, wipe system, uh, we've already done that. Wipe cache. Or format cache. Yeah. And then uh, format data.
awesome so that's how it should look um, okay so what should we do right now that's a very good question now we should go back uh, bottom and we should basically flash the alpha so we just go ahead and install zip from SD card and we are just going to go ahead and choose my zip from SD card and uh, I'm just gonna hit the up key to go to the bottom and here we have uh, two firmware files I'm just gonna use uh, this one okay I hit that one and uh, then I'm just gonna go down and go ahead and go to install and it's gonna do a lot of things Oh no, I got an error message. Installation aborted, status 7. Okay, that sucks. Let's go ahead and try it again. But this is basically the process in uh, how you install ROMs and stuff like that. And um, sometimes it doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work first time. Uh, that doesn't mean that your phone is broke or something like that. Uh, that just means that uh, the coding sucks.